that last one. Oh, God, that last one. Well, let's go this way. And like I said, if I don't get it my first try, I will do this again off screen and yeah. Middle. Right. Left! <laughs> Got it this one. Ah, damn it. Oh well. Before I kill that enemy, let's see if I can get a unique enemy to appear. In the Omega Ruins, a unique non-capturable -capture enemy can it possibly appear by stealing from these treasure chests. If it says steal nothing, you've encountered a Mimic. The Mimic will take one of three forms, I believe. As you can see, this Mimic took the form of a Machina-type enemy. Mimics are just super defensive and healthy. They do some pretty nasty damage, but if you can kill them, or better yet, overkill them, you get a fuck ton of money for it. Like, if you have yet to, um, if you've yet to get the Yojimbo summon because you're working on tripling his price, then that'll be for you. Alright, so onwards. But not upwards, yet. There's a glyph on the wall. The glyph does nothing. And so we get into the last area with the treasure chest. There are four here, and in order to get the best prize, you need to choose every one of them in the correct sequence. That's easier said than done. First things first, the last Albed Primer. Translates W to Z. And we gain the final Albed rank. So let's see if I can get this one. Phantom Ring. Cactus Wizard. And... Teleport Spheres. There we go. So I did pick up some new weapons. Warmonger, Overdrive, and Double AP. Or Double Overdrive and Double AP. Half MP cost. And, ooh, that's actually pretty damn good. Too bad I don't have Water Gems, so I could put uh, Water Eater on that. I really like equipment that's like this. Let's go on and bring that up there. And swap you with the rematch. So, I'm actually surprised I got all of them correct in my first try. I won't actually have to replay through this. It's a statistical nightmare to try and get all of them correct. Alright, so that glyph downstairs won't actually activate unless we activate this glyph right here first. And by the glyph downstairs, I mean the glyph that's over here. But if you get, uh, yeah, like I was saying, if you get all four of those treasure chests correct, you get a real good item in the form of teleport spheres. The rest of the items, eh, I could give a shit about. And now that we got that, the glyph actually works now which raises up platforms. Well, a platform anyways. Let's see what's over here. And another platform raises up. Okay, let's continue onwards. Where another platform raises up. Yeah, you kinda get what's gonna be going on, viewers. 
all the way at the end is a teleport sphere. So I've gathered up all the treasure that can be had in the Omega Ruins for now. Something quick of note, the enemies in this area have a high chance of dropping level 2 key spheres and level 3 key spheres, but more importantly, have a decent chance of dropping friend and return spheres. Those are useful to me anyways for getting people over to their correct areas. Or getting them over to where I want them to be going next. Alright, so we've gathered up everything that has been that is in the Omega Dun or the Omega Ruins area here. Let's step on this pad and go on up. Onwards, I guess. Well, this certainly doesn't seem suspicious at all. You're kidding. Give me a second. So, say hello to the Ultima weapon. This guy is actually not all that hard. Uh, give me a second. Ultima. I'm just bringing it up on the uh, Final Fantasy wiki page. That way I can see if it's worth... Oh. Damn. Damn. Well... I'm going to be spending the first couple rounds uh, stealing from this guy, but uh, more importantly, it's not really worth overkilling this guy. So, let's go on and pull Riku back in. Uh, I'm running as you are. Steal. You can get up to 20 Door to Tomorrows. That's why I was saying, damn. Ah, damn it. I know I didn't have the first couple passes. I was hoping to be able to get it with that one, but... Oh, well. Ultimate Weapon, as I stated, actually not that hard of a boss. I mean, look at that. It's already dead. <laughs> Ultima Weapon. Not hard. Not worth overkilling it either because all it will ever give you is level 3 key spheres. And I've got plenty. I've got enough to unlock the rest of the sphere grid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, level 3 key spheres. Also picked up an emblem. That was not Omega. Nope, that was Ultima. Just a shadow born from Omega's wrath. What, so the main man's still around? Come on out, Omega! When we meet, I will send it. So, we also picked up a, another piece of equipment. The emblem is not that great. Riku gained a lot of fucking levels off of that battle, though. Alright. Finally. Go on and have Titus here port right on over to Riku. Because I'm gonna now have him run through Rika's Rika Riku's sphere grid in reverse. May as well. Uh Riku. You go on and get out of my party, please. Thank you. Let's see. There you are. 
And Omega Weapon's not really worth overkilling either. Alright! So, now that I'm in this area, I'm gonna go on and re-equip the catcher equipment, because these, uh, these platforms here have chances of spawning difficult enemies, such as the Grand Malboro, who is still being a bitch and ambushing and then immediately using bad breath. <sighs> Fucking bad breath. Every Final Fantasy gamer knows the woe of fighting against a goddamn Malboro because of the ambush into bad breath. Oh my god, it is really fucking annoying. Uh, yeah. I'll go on in. This is why I like to carry lots of remedies on me. Now, something of note. I don't know if this is actually how it works, but it seems like as long as at least one person has at least two status ailments on them, whether it's Confused and Blind, or Berserk and Poison, the Malboro seems to be contempt and doesn't bother reusing Bad Breath. So... Just have two people quick hit a bunch of times, and you'll be good. Go on and heal. And may as well take my levels. There you go, Waka. Let's go on and use a teleport sphere to have him start over here on Yuna's sphere grid. Go on and have him also go straight up first to go after that auto life. And once Orin's done with uh, Lulu's sphere grid here, I'm gonna have him run Waka's sphere grid. Just to give them more strength. Let's go on and take a look at their stats. Titus, pretty damn beefy right now. <laughs> Onwards. This way is actually a dead end. I just want to map this out before moving actually onwards. Ooh, Gemini. An enemy we haven't run into yet. Gemini, Sword, and Mace. These guys are interesting. They are Iron Giants. They've got heavy armor, so you need to make sure to armor break before starting your all-out attack against them. And there are two version, versions, versions of them. You actually need to capture ten of each. These do count as separate enemies, even though they're both just named Gemini, they do count as separate enemies. And for exploring all the way over here, we get a friend sphere. I've already got plenty of those, so that's kind of a meh reward. But this area here in the roads leading up to the boss. Y'all can already figure who it is, but I'm not going to say it quite yet. But the uh, platforms leading up to the boss of this area has the chance of giving you uh, Varune. Oh, more Geminis. Of course, it's just as equally doesn't have a chance of giving you Varuna. <sighs> Swear to God, catching ten Varuna is a pain in the ass, viewers. Like, they just don't seem to want to show up 
when they're the last ones you need. 